What is up everybody? This is Bryce Van Hoosen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm super excited about this new pedal that I have. This thing literally made me excited to jump out of bed in the morning and strap on my guitar and plug in and turn on and all of that kind of stuff. This is the Ritual from Lichlarm Audio. All right, so before we could dive into the sounds, let's take a look at all of the controls and the knobs and switches and all of that kind of stuff because there is a lot going on here with the Ritual pedal. It's almost like three pedals in one and it really does give you a lot of control over the tones that you can get out of it. Right off the bat, first thing you'll notice when looking at the Ritual pedal is this awesome artwork. Look at this. I believe this is, people are telling me this is real gold on this metal plate that's on the front of it. Um, I can neither confirm nor deny, but it looks fancy as all hell. Look at that. Amazing. Just a, a beautiful looking pedal. All right, and moving on to the controls. Starting down here on the bottom with the gain and the level control, this is obviously similar to what you would find on a standard Proco Rat 2. Uh, but instead of the filter control, we have a three band EQ here. So we have bass and high, which is self explanatory enough. And there's also this cut control, which to my ear sounds more like what you might call something like a grind. It sort of gives you that high mid boost, something to really allow your guitar just to kind of cut through the mix, hence the name, very appropriately titled. Uh, the boost, this is basically giving you an added boost that is foot switchable from this switch here, independent of the actual quote unquote rat effect or the ritual effect, uh, which is turned off or on here. So you can actually just turn on the boost and use it just as a, a boost in and of itself. For the boost three-way switch here, the range, we basically have the option between a mid boost Right, so this is almost like putting a tube screamer in front of your rat pedal, which is super handy and something a lot of people do. Or in the middle, it's a treble boost. And all the way to the right, it is a full range boost. So boosting all of the frequencies of your guitar. Now the clip, this is something that is found on kind of a lot of um, different uh, rat inspired pedals. So what this does, this basically gives you the option to select between each of the three sort of main flavors of rat. So all the way over to the left, we have the, uh, what I think is the standard rat. So this is gonna be silicone diode clipping. In the middle, we have LED clipping, which means we're in turbo rat territory. So you get uh, a lot more volume and a lot more gain out of that. And then all the way over to the right, I believe this is germanium clipping. So that's gonna be kind of like the dirty rat uh, or you dirty rat pedal. Uh, so you're gonna have the most compression and it's gonna be just kind of the, the nastiest sound. The comp, this switch basically turns the first gain stage of the pedal into an overdrive. And so in the middle, to my ears, it sounds like that is off. Uh, over to the left, it sounds kind of just like a standard sort of tube screamer overdrive, a little bit more compressed. Uh, and then all the way to the right, to me, this is almost sounding kind of like uh, a little bit more open and with just a little bit more top end to it, almost kind of like, again, sort of like a, a grind sort of pedal or like a PC integrated preamp, that kind of compression that's a little bit more open. That is kind of what I'm going with because it sounds a little bit more interesting and a little bit different from kind of the standard Tube Screamer-ish compression. And one of the control that you can't see is inside, there's a little trim pot that is actually a, I believe it is a low pass filter. So you turn it down, you get less of that really aggressive top end. You turn it up, you get more top end. By default, I think it's in the middle. I have mine sort of down a little ways just because I want to sort of cut a little bit of that top end hiss off since I am using this in front of a dirty amp, almost kind of more like an overdrive. So I don't necessarily need to add a whole lot of uh, presence and brilliance from the pedal itself. So cutting down on that kind of saves everybody's ears, I think. All right, so I got the Ritual pedal plugged in up here. We got pedal vision on this crappy old iPhone. A little bit about the signal chain. I'm using my 1992 Jackson Professional. Whoa. 
Stealth EX, oh God, with the weird output jack. I uh, got an EMG 81X and two EMG SA pickups in the neck and middle, going straight into the Lichlerm Audio Ritual pedal from there, going into my pedal board. The only thing I got on on the pedal board is a Boss Chorus Ensemble, because, you know, I like a little bit of modulation. And then from there, going into my 1978 Marshall JMP 2203. And from there, going into my Boss Wazacraft tube amp expander, going into my audio interface, which is a Universal Apollo, and then into Reaper. And I am using Softube's Amp Room for the cab IR sounds. All right, and so far, that sounds like... Yeah, needs a boost. All right, so I'm using this similar to the way that I used the Rat, if you've seen that video from a couple weeks ago. And there's a card up here or something you can click to watch that. I am basically using this as a boost, so we're going into a slightly dirty amp, right? <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're just using this a little bit of distortion, a whole lot of level. Right now, you can kind of see the settings that I have here. I got the clip in the middle, so I'm doing the uh, basically the LED clipping version. Kick that bad boy on. Yeah, that sounds cool. So if we go into kind of like standard rat position, it's gonna be a little more compressed here. Oh, I swear I'm in tune. to, I believe this is a germanium diode clipping. I think these would probably sound quite a bit different if I increased the gain here. And then back to LED. Oh man, lots, lots of good sounds out of this. Okay, so I have the compression turned to kind of what I feel like it's a little bit more open sort of compression setting. Uh, again, that switch is changing the first gain stage to an overdrive. Turn it over to, this is kind of more like the Tube Screamer version. I'm gonna turn that gain back down to where I had it. Clean it up just a little bit here. Mm -hmm. 
fingers. Ah, it's so tight. So let's play around with the EQ controls. Like I said, I sort of feel like this is like three pedals in one. You get sort of like a, an EQ plus a whole bunch of different flavors of RAT and then also a boost slash overdrive that you can use in front of it. And uh, that'll become a little bit more apparent once we get into the boost settings and play around with those switches there. But uh, that's coming in just a second. All right, for now, EQ time. Let's see here. So I got this bass up. Let's turn it down. We'll turn the highs up. This cut, you can kind of hear what this thing's doing here. So it's removing a lot of bass, increasing a lot of mids. Very powerful control. The high, woo! Also a very powerful control that gets nice and thinned out there. Bass, we can turn it all the way up. does so much and it's capable of so many sounds like really a uh, just a, a absolute beast of versatility this pedal is all right I'm gonna click the compression knob knob switch back to kind of the more open position <laughs> Drop my pick. It's like cut does exactly what it says it does. Really gives you that upper mid boost to cut through. All right, I'm gonna turn it back down a little bit here. Let's uh, kick on the boost. And so you can use the boost. Whoa. Use the boost independently. Man, I need a better setup here. All right, now we just got the boost on. What am I doing? All right, so that is in the mid boost setting. If we go to middle here, it's gonna be a treble boost. all the way to the right, full range boost. Yeah, that is certainly thick. Right, I'm gonna go back to the mid boost setting. Let's 
turn this guy back to like, uh, I don't know, 10 o'clock or so here is kind of where I had it. So in my eyes, the real beauty of this thing and kind of why I really got interested in it is I was using various things to kind of push the rat a little bit harder. So that got me thinking, hey, instead of having two separate pedals on my pedal board, is there somebody who has combined both of these things into one, right? Everybody's using a Tube Screamer and a Rat. Is there something that would let me save the pedal board space and just put both of these things together? And the Ritual pedal does just that because you have this built-in boost that you can use separate or together stacked with the actual distortion effect. So let's... Oh yeah, this is like a, a ringing school bell. Getting a lot of extra noise here just because of, you know, where I'm sitting. I would usually have this on my pedal board, which would, you know, throw it through a noise gate and cut down and all that stuff. Uh, but it is what it is. There's a lot of gain on this thing, so that means noise. Get a noise gate. <laughs> Ugh, that is an absolutely beautiful sound and it really gives you the freedom and the ability to take something like a rat circuit and just push it into completely modern territory with all these different bells and whistles and things like that. Um, let's keep let's keep playing around with that. So a little more boost, a little more cut here. I don't know, I really kind of like the compression over in that more open setting. That's a lot of top end. And what happens if we put it in full range mode? Just hours of fun. The noise is kind of driving me crazy, so I'm gonna put this thing back on my pedal board so I can, so that I can prove to you that it is not the pedal's fault for how freaking noisy this whole thing is right now. Oops. All right. 
right, and we're back, and here's how this thing sounds when it's on my pedal board and not in the middle of this entire mess of noise. <laughs> So what I love most about this pedal is even though you get an actual awesome amount of gain, more gain than even I am using here, it still retains kind of that classic Marshall sound, which is the Kerrang, right? So what is the Kerrang? Right, that kind of sound that goes like Kerrang. Uh, that is the quintessential Marshall sound, if you ask me. Um, and I totally stole that phrasing from uh, the Headfirst Amplification. Wow, I can't talk today. Stole that from the Headfirst Amplification YouTube channel. So uh, kudos to Jason over there for coming up with that. It's the perfect description and uh, exactly what I would have called it if I was uh, a little bit more clever. But, you know. Uh, but the ritual, if you want a lot of that kind of sort of sound, Man, it, it keeps that. All right, thanks for watching. I am Bryce Van Hoosen. I got links in the description. Check out Lich Mario. Check out the Ritual Pedal. They got a bunch of other cool shit over there. So give them a look. And uh, thanks for watching. Give me a like, thumbs up, whatever, all of that. But I'll see you next time.